I thought I was done talking about nurses that fumbled the bag. Nope, not even close. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is CJ, AKA the High Value Nurse, checking in once again back with another video. And today is a doozy. And not only did they fumble the bag, they fumbled the practice, they fumbled everything they possibly could, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about it. This one comes out of Florida. You know, Florida is no stranger to controversy when it comes down to healthcare. And why should this time be any different? Florida nurse practitioner convicted in $200 million Medicare fraud scheme. Lord have mercy. $200 million dollars ladies and gentlemen let's get into the game a federal jury in miami convicted a florida nurse practitioner of health care conspiracy and other charges for playing a key role in the scheme that swindled hundreds of millions of dollars from medicare when are y'all gonna learn that y'all not gonna play with the government and get away with it hold on okay i'm back i took care of that but yeah, when y'all gonna learn that y'all not finna play with the government and <laughs> they're gonna get their money. I don't even know why people try, but they try anyway. And I think this is crazy, um, but let's continue. Elizabeth Hernandez, 45, fraudulently billed Medicare for more than $200 million in orthotic braces and genetic tests that were medically unnecessary according to the Department of Justice. Medicare is a federal program that provides health coverage to primarily older Americans. Hernandez, who was found guilty Thursday by jurors after a trial that lasted several days, participated in the board scheme in which telemarketing companies will contact Medicare patients to persuade them to request unnecessary braces and tests, the DOJ said. They were not playing games. They had the whole scheme. They had the whole thing ready to go. They 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 was trying to get it popping. You dig? And I just can't see like working so hard and just throwing it all away. Trying to play with the government's money, bruh. Arrogance. It's it's like it's just it's really arrogance at this point says these companies then sent pre-filled orders to Hernandez who signed them attesting that she had examined or treated the patients although she had never spoken with many of them prosecutors said Hernandez routinely billed Medicare for more than 24 hours of purported office visits in a single day the DOJ said and in 2020 Hernandez ordered more cancer genetic tests for Medicare beneficiaries than any other provider in the nation including oncologists and geneticists, the department said. Now, let's slow down. Wouldn't you think that the government, like this will ring the alarm, strike up some sort of red flag, something, and you ordering all this stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff, and you charging and you billing Medicaid, somebody in there is going to be like, what the heck is this person doing charging us all this? She ain't got that many patients. $200 million worth of tests and orthotic braces and all that stuff that she, that she doing? Come on, bro. What are we really doing right now? It says she personally pocketed $1.6 million in stolen money, which she used to buy pricey cars, jewelry, home renovations, and trips, the prosecutor said, of course. Because that's what, that's what they do when they... <laughs> Not get about the country. Not go away. But just up to where you can be tracked. One of Hernandez's co-conspirators, Michael Stang, pled guilty in April to one count of defrauding the U.S. by paying and receiving kickbacks. Stein was sentenced to five years in prison in June. Stein ran two companies, 523 Holdings and Growth Logics, that paid healthcare providers bribes and kickback to order genetic tests that were medically un necessary hernandez is scheduled to be sentenced december 14th she faces a maximum possible sentence of 20 years in the prison on top count of conspiracy to commit health care fraud with lesser maximums for health care fraud and making false statements 
a lawyer for Hernandez did not immediately respond to a request for comment, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, I, I just, I get amazed with every story I come across like this. And um, this one is coming from CNBC. And do you, like, did they not think they were going to get caught? Did they not think that anything was going to happen? Did they not think that somebody would snitch? Did they not think this would come up on the radar? Did they not think that this was this would bring some attention to themselves? I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, it is a certain pride in doing things, you know, the right way. Especially when you're playing with the government's money. Um, I think this is crazy. <laughs> I think she's crazy. I think this was foolish. Um, but you know, people are going to do things. And who are we to judge? But I know this was quite stupid. It's two people I don't play with. God and, well, you know, God and, you know, I don't play with God and I don't play with the government. I am not charging extra stuff to my government account, Medicare, all that stuff. I don't got time to play. I don't got time to go to prison. It's just something nice about being a law-abiding citizen that don't have to look over their shoulders, that's not nervous about nothing. It's just something good about that. But I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Um, my name is CJ, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse, checking in once again back with another video. If somebody tried to pull you in <laughs> on a $200 million scheme, if somebody was like, hey, hey, I got this thing for you. Look, this is what we finna do. We finna do blasey, blasey, split. And obviously you're gonna say no, but would you snitch on them? Would you rat them out? Or would you just simply mind your business? Let me know what you would do in the comments. And, um, yeah, man, we can get the conversation started in the comments because I just think situations like these, they happen a lot. Like I did one about a, um, I think she was a nurse practitioner or she was either, I think she was a nurse practitioner or she was either a doctor in Canada, but I don't know. But let me know what y'all think in the comments and I'm going to holler at you in a minute. Peace.